Okay, first drive off the driveway on 10.5. It's uh, 4.08 in the afternoon on uh, whatever date it is, the 22nd of November. All right. Oops. Well, took the corner off the thing, but did that the last time too. I'm gonna try to see if I can manually tell it. Um, one thing different on this release for me was I had to re accept the FSD beta terms um, this time on the on the computer or in the car um, still not seeing the uh, dip went a little fast it's fine all right so now we're at the corner where I wanted to make a right I'm telling it to make a right it's stopping a little short it's gonna like okay. auto lane change unavailable all right well it wasn't lane changing I wanted to make a right here so this is our initialization drive. Um, yeah, so I had to I had to click on the opt-in. There's a car coming out here to uh, FSD beta. I was originally last year on a different program where I had to sign or electronically sign a, an actual document, a PDF. But this time I did it on the on the on the car itself. So see what that means. We're doing our initialization drive, so I'm gonna do this to get on from the surface streets to the highway, and then I'll turn around, and go to the, the circle and the three, um, the location of the three um, intersection of three streets. Of course, we're doing this at 4:10, which is basically rush hour around here, and this particular merge is usually pretty tough at this time, even for humans. And see it's not creeping. There, let's wipe that off so we can see. It might creep a little. See, I'm assisting it. A lot of cars. Still a lot of cars. Nice black Model 3. There's one guy behind me, so. Alright, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. All right. A little slow on the uptake, but it's fine. So at this point, it's going to go EAP, and this is where I usually cancel this. Go to manual, set to the next destination to get us around the... Uh, yep. So now i got to go through here. I'll activate it once it redirects the way I want it to had this problem the last time I did it around this time of day. You should look and see if it connects. There you go. Okay, I've re-engaged. I guess it's doing the loop loop and sending us back the other way. Um, this is our initialization drive, so if you've seen this video before, you've... Um, the last time we did it in 10.4, I... Oh. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Took over. My hands are always ready to take over, so we did that there. Readjusted. So 10.4, the video cut off early. Um, I didn't have any for the. I basically drove around my initialization without recording it. So let's see what happens here in 10.5. Okay, so I should take this room here to the right. We're on uh, average or whatever the default standard is for the aggressiveness of the uh, FSD beta. So I haven't tested any of the other settings to figure out people have been playing around with that. Um, I'm sure I'll find a comfortable one for me in the future, but I just figured I'd stay with the same one. And we're getting back onto the highway, going in the other direction to get to the uh, large roundabout. It's a little slower now, okay, oh, it's fast. Alright, so previous versions until 10.3, there was the phantom uh, forward collision warning that occurs around here. That was solved in the last few uh, subsequent releases, which is good. The flashing yellow lights above, you can see that it's flashing yellow, so that's good. The speed limit changes down to 45 at this point, so it should adjust down, though I am set to go 10% above, so that's why it's up, it was up to 50. And I dialed out of 45 since we were coming into here. All 
Alright, so that's pretty good. Next known issue that I've had in previous releases is making the right turn into Pacific Coast Highway. It swerves to the left and then makes the right. A um, few times it's a little aggressive and swerving to the left. A few times it's too timid making the far right turn when it should have made a right turn into the center lane. So hopefully this has improved. It's one thing good about doing the same route to initialize and get a feel for the particular release. Feels more confident in its drive right now, so that's good. Might also be because I've since switched it to 10% above. That's a change um, in the behavior than what I've had before. Basically, instead of number of miles above speed limit, I did it in percentages and I did it in 10%. So that means on a 40 mile route, it's going at 44, which is what it's doing. So it's feeling faster in its acceleration. I don't know if that affects it or not, but that's kind of what we're doing here. So if you looked at my 10.4 video, it basically ends right here because I didn't get a recording after that. I paused it and I thought I started it again um, because we caught the red light the last time. I thought I'd give folks a little break and it bridge it, but I, a user error did not do that. All right, so I'm gonna make a right turn here. So this is where, okay, I had to give it an acceleration. Yep, still turn to the wrong lane. It's not unsafe, it just this irritatingly makes me look like an idiot. All right, so now we're gonna go to the, uh, to, to the roundabout, to do our first of our roundabout tests. We're gonna be testing the roundabout, the intersection of three streets, and then head home. Um, it's Monday night, four o'clock in the afternoon, so we're heading into uh, rush hour here. I don't normally like to do these uh, initialization tests during rush hour, so. behind me is going really fast. The speed limit here is 40. Um, but most people go faster, like this guy right here. Mr. Crybaby. So everybody thinks it's a 55 zone because it's Pacific Coast Highway, but it's actually a 40 mile per hour zone. Um, however, going 45 is possibly the slowest you should probably go on this particular route. As is evidenced by the speed demon over there, else is uh, going about that speed. All right. There's a yellow light, but whoop, it slowed down after we've hit the yellow, so I had to hit the accelerator to keep going because the guy behind me was on my tail. But that's why, you know, we are responsible for our own drive, um, so you got to make sure to be on top of it. It's this guy just cut in front of us. All right. It still wants to go to the right turning lane. I don't like that. I know it's failed all the time that I've tried to do that, so I'm forcing it to go to the inner lane for the entrance into the roundabout. take over. It was aggressively going in, um, which was good because I like it that way, but it wasn't aggressive enough. So I had to take over at that point there. So that's a manual takeover. Let's give it a snapshot. So hopefully it caught that. Now we're going to do the next turn to get back around. Let's go to the dollar tree. All right. In this case, navigation is going to want to go around Completely, but I'm going to make the U-turn and force it to try to do another three, three intersection um, or three exit turn through the roundabout. Looks like a 
pretty full roundabout. I like being on the left lane on these things typically. Canceling if I'm trying to go to the right lane. So again, it's a, it is a driver assist system, so it's okay to be hybrid on it. All right, we're out of the field here. Stop a little early. Take it. Okay. Whoa. That guy was a little too close to us as well. Impressive enough, but not quite as good as I'd like it to be. All right, I'm going to go exit and do switch us to the, uh, the intersection of three streets for now before we do any more of those. a turn to the left on the far left we're testing the frontage road um, that it has to go through to get to the to the church the church and school or whatever they put on the navigation basically there's these front frontage roads that are on the side so we're gonna make a left and then we're gonna make a quick right and then a left um, it hasn't done it yet but I just want to see what it does all right we're in front of the left turn here so that's good Yeah, so this is basically my initialization route, getting a good feel of how it's doing, um, do a few things in the roundabout, a few things on this test. I don't think they, I, I didn't see anything in the notes regarding recognizing no turn on red sign, so. Maybe we'll do a few tests in this section that does that. It's once again on a Monday at 420, so probably gonna cut this uh, test short and then just do the rest of it later. But we'll do a few more here and then go from there. Three streets are intersecting, so the lights are kind of, you know, controlling everything that's around. Now this street's going. We're probably at the next set. Then. Hopefully it's still recording. No, it wouldn't be the first time I'm talking to myself. All right, let's go. Police officer right there. I just, oh, school safety. It wasn't a real police officer. All right, testing the frontage road test here, which is where it's supposed to go to right here. And then, ha! Ha! <laughs> That's awesome! It just did it! And it should stop right here in the front of this entrance here. Ha! Huh, good job! <laughs> That's pretty cool! Alright. Alright. Uh, that is pretty cool. I'm gonna stop it right here. <laughs> 